Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Photoshop for Beginners. This is Andre from psdbox.com and in today's episode I will talk about selections. If you watched the second episode, I said that selections are used to restrict the work area. And what I want to show you in this episode is some of the options that we have with selections, so what, what you can do with selections. Remember that the selections tools are on the first group here on top on the on the tools bar and I have selected the rectangular marquee tool and when you select this uh, selection tool you'll see four icons here on top this is also available for the for the lasso tool and also for and also for the magic wand tool so let's stick with the rectangular marquee tool the first icon is called the new selection and it's simply to click and drag and create a new selection the second icon is to add to a selection so if I want to create another rectangle like this and add it to this I can click and create another one the third one it's called a subtract so I could make something like this and the the last one it's called the intersect uh, which will do something like this these icons are used are useful if you're making for logos for example uh, where you need to create some more advanced uh, shapes and stuff like that of course uh, you can combine this tool so for example if I get the elliptical marquee tool I create a circle like that and then I can switch to the lasso tool and get the intersect and create something weird like this and now I have this uh, selection made then I could get the polygonal one and add a new selection and create something like this so you can combine these ones okay let's see what else you can do with selections when you select the marquee tool you have uh, a few styles by default the normal is selected uh, which allows you to click and drag to create your selection and also you have fixed ratio with this one what you can do for example if you know you're making a wallpaper for example and you, you want it for a for a wide screen uh, the ratio for that one is uh, 16 and the height is 9 for example and when you click and drag you will always keep that aspect ratio and of course you can shift change this and make it make it vertically then you also have fixed size uh, which allows you to set a width in pixels or inches for example 200 pixels wide and 500 pixels high so we can whenever you click you get the, the exact dimensions that you set here and of course you can shift it and have it the opposite way let's move to the magic wand tool now with this uh, this image will make uh, things a bit easier because it has it has a solid background and with the new selection on I will set tolerance to 30 percent or something like that and just click once and select all the background and if you press the shift key or switch to the add to selection you can click and add areas to the selection also here on the on the hands now that we have the background selected let's say we want to change it with a with our own background and for that we have to delete it but first we have to unlock the layer and now press the delete key and the background is gone uh, deselect this because I want to show you something if you want to load the selection of the girl you can press the control key and click the thumbnail on the layers palette and when you press the control key you can see how the cursor changes and when you click you will load the selection of the girl the contour and I'll now zoom in and 
if you look close you'll see how bad these edges look that's why I don't like to use the magic wand tool most of, of the times I use the pen tool to trace a, a path around but in this case we'll do it uh, this way because it's easier and in order to fix these edges with the selection loaded I'll zoom in to like 200% and I'll click this option refine edge if you don't see it here um, go to the select menu and you should be here on somewhere depending on the version of Photoshop that you have and the first thing I want to do is shift the edges so I'll drag to the left and let's put it to like 20% okay and now I will increase the feather and also the smooth option and increase the contrast with the contrast you make it you make the edges sharper or smoother as you can see let put it to like 50% and shift the edges a bit more or decrease feather like that increase smooth okay so let's if you want to move uh, through the image with this menu opened you have to press the spacebar and click and drag while you hold the spacebar and now you can see how how it looks you can change the view mode from here so you can see all everything that we removed uh, and you can change the backgrounds you can see the mask only this is was the this was the before and this is the after before and after so you can see that now the edges look a lot better Let's shift it even more and use more feather and okay now it looks okay let's see on the arms okay once you're done with the with the settings here on the bottom you have a few options I don't know if this is only available for CS5 but if you have CS5 you have a few options here I al almost always use layer masks and click OK and that way I I have a layer mask and I will always have those edges there if I want to recover them just by the disabling the layer mask I can I can have the the before and after there press the shift key and disable it and you'll see the before and after uh, let's see some other areas here as well you can see on the hands we lost a bit of the edge but uh, now the edges look better now that we removed that background and fixed the edges you can create a new layer under it if you hold the control key and press the new layer icon you will create a new layer below the layers that you have selected and for example with the gradient tool uh, you can change the colors and create a new background set a gray like this and choose this one and click and drag now 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 we have another another background so that's pretty much it about selections for now you can do a few other things uh, with selections but for now I think it's enough so see you on the next episode